Welcome to my channel, Planet with Maserati. I'm going to be doing the daily scripture writing for day 10, which is going to be Lamentations 319. Lamentations 319. And before I begin, welcome. Please subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. If you could give this video a big up, leave a comment, and share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. So we're going to go ahead and mark off Lamentations, Lamentations, I can never say that one, 319. For the month of October, we're focused on patience, and we're reading, writing, and then and like dance, you pray and reflect. You're obviously going to do it all together, but on here, I do it later because it's just something I do. Um, yeah. So, soap study. In prayer, if you choose to do that, I am down five days. I still have to do. I did five. I got to do five more. And then for the devotional, we're on now the God of patience. And I am still kind of behind with this day and then these three plus I think one of these. So yeah, welcome. Please subscribe. It's been a long road for me. Like it has been terrible. Had to go to the hospital today. He's having surgery. Um, well, he had surgery when I went to the hospital. They said that, I guess the night before when I took him to the hospital, he was having, you know, severe abdominal and esophagus issues. Well, we're thinking it's um, ulcers. Well, come to find out, we don't know if he has ulcers or not. Come to find out, he was having a gallbladder attack. He was loaded with stones in his gallbladder. Like, they said it was slushy, disgusting. I mean, he was naming all kind of, like, weird things for this gallbladder. It was so disgusting. And so, they took him down. They did an emergency gallbladder. Sorry, because usually whatever happens on Friday and Saturday will hit Monday, and then whatever happens, like, Sunday, they didn't finish on Saturday, Sunday will hit, like, Tuesday and so on. Like, you know, it goes in order. Well, some of them were easy to do, like, and it's not just gallbladder, it's any surgery. And some of them were easy to do, and some of them, you know, I guess took some time. So they tentatively put him for 3 o'clock. Well, they grabbed him at one fifteen ish so we went down to the um the operating room where not the operating room but where they put you for your operation. So we went down there and you know people were coming to see him, the anesthesia, the well the one that was gonna the gallbladder, the one that did the gallbladder came to the bedroom upstairs, the room upstairs. And he was like stop eating rocks outside. You know, he was a jokester. My mom liked that because he's a jokester. And so they were saying about, you know, you were loaded, whatever, you know, do you have, I don't know, like, he has, he has other issues. We are talking about a scope, being down his throat, so that they can find out what's around his esophagus. They just want to make sure he doesn't have cancer. That was one of the things they were worried about. And so they took him down again at like one fifteen ish I would say no later than one thirty. They were there to pick him up. Like, they were ready to take him down. The operating room around 2 20 ish? 2 2, two something? Early 2's. And he stayed in that operating room until they didn't contact me until, well, they didn't even contact me. I had to ask them what's going on. This is a good hospital, but they didn't contact me. And so, sorry, I'm supposed to be doing scripture right and I'm over here telling you a story. Um, I would say a good hour and 45 minutes he was in the operating room, close to two hours. So by the time he got done, by the time I asked, it was like 4 o'clock-ish. So remember, he he went in about 2-ish. So they had him in the recovery room, not telling me anything. So I was like, okay, cool. I'm like, 
you know, is anybody going to tell me what's going on? After I found Sadie, she's like, yeah, I'll come back and tell you, you know, where he's at. And she's like, he's in recovery. I'm like, okay, well, the doctor never came to me. She's like, I'll go let him know. Well, he finally came to talk to me. All he said was everything went well. <laughs> I was like, okay, like, thank you. So he's like, you could just go upstairs. Now, my mind, we're in 4 o'clock-ish, like around 4.30-ish. Even sooner than that. So I'm saying it took a good at least two hours downstairs. So maybe like 4.30-ish. And I go upstairs. Some guy comes in. He's like, Jackie, right? I was like, he's not here. And he was like, well... We have to, you know, have him see me at my facility. I'm like, if you don't do it now for him with a scope, he won't do it. He's that type of person. I'm like, he won't do it. You'll have to do it here while he's here because he won't do it. And he's like, okay, well, I can see what I can do. His medication's not right. What happened to his other doctor? I was like, she quit. She really did. She quit. Like, COVID hit. And he had COVID. I had COVID. You know, she was pregnant. And she quit. Like, we didn't hear anything about her until he called to have an appointment. And yeah, they said he qu she quit. His heart doctor told him. So then he finally comes up at 6.30 and I have to leave. So I'm like, I can't see outside. It's dark. I can't see. So I had to leave. So let's get into Lamentations 319. Thank you for everyone who prayed for him. Thank you for that prayer that you put on my channel. I greatly appreciate it. I do. I thank you because that helped him. Like, he's not throwing up. He, uh, he hasn't thrown up, I think, all day today. He didn't throw up when he came back. They try to give him, and I didn't understand this one. I was like, how are you giving this patient muscacholi with meatballs? He just had something in his throat to see, like a camera or whatever they put in your throat. I don't know the technical terms for that, but he had something in his throat so that they can see what's going on. And you're sitting here, a breathing tube. It wasn't even something for to see what's going on. A breathing tube so that they, you know, help him breathe. And you're going to give him muscacholi with red sauce. Now, if anyone has acid reflux or anything like that, you know you're not supposed to eat that. She's like, well, they said a general diet. Well, general diet doesn't mean you give a acid reflux, someone that's thrown up all the last two weeks, especially yesterday was the, you know, he was just constantly going and you want to give him <laughs> muscatoli. They gave him pineapple. Now, pineapple is sour to your stomach. Like, if anyone eats pineapple, it could be sweet, it could be sour. It's one of those things. To me, at least, it's sour to my stomach. They gave him apple juice. Mm, it's okay, I guess. And they gave him a brownie that I took, a, like, a tiny little, tiny little smidge. I had to spit it out. Before he got up there. Because I was like, that was gross. Me and hospital food would never be. Like, we will never be. I will be the skinniest chick. You want me to be skinny? Trust me. Put me in a hospital. He had to sneak me when I had COVID. And sneak it to the security guard to bring up to me. And it took a long time. A sandwich from Subway. Because I will not eat the hospital food. I You could be... On your last leg, and I will not eat hospital food. That is disgusting to me. So let's begin. And that's where patience is. Because patience I had today, like, I was good with the patience. I did want to know what was going on with him, but I was good with patience. Like, I sat there, I played in my planner, I wrote my list down for today, and I just did, and none of my list got done. But I did write it down. <laughs> So Lamentations 3, uh, 19, I remember my affliction and my wandering, the bitterness of, the bitterness and the gall. 
I'm going to have to look this one up because this one was on, you know, for patients. Let me know what you feel like this would be for patients. I'm saying wandering. So I'm underlying this. Because gall is like something, you know, you, you toss up. But I don't know if that's the case. The bitterness and the gall. So I don't know if that's the case. But I did go ahead and write patience. So we're going to go ahead and write this out. And then I will read it from here. I usually have done that in the past where I would read from the Bible. And then read from the page after I'm done writing. I kind of miss doing it. And yeah, so I came home, I made me sauce that's burning my stomach right now. Because I did ravioli. Like, and I know I should not be eating cans. Cans are not good for me for the sodium, the sugar, or anything like that. I did make tuna for tomorrow. I didn't make it, I just put the cans together. But I do have tuna for tomorrow, so I don't have to worry about dinner. That's taken care of. And then um, I sat and watched YouTube and, not YouTube, TikTok, because, you know, you could be addicted to TikTok. And then I watched The Voice. But more like listen to it, because I'm not into The Voice like I used to be. So let's go ahead and read this one. Sorry if it's shaky. I always say that, but it's it's shaky. I remember my affliction. And my wandering, the bitterness and the gall. So there's that one. This is the NIV version. You know when I like something because I use the, 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 the everything out of it. I was trying not to swear. And I got the hiccups. So I've been really good with water lately. I'm going to stay off of uh, iced coffees because I've noticed... With iced coffee, my stomach tends to burn. Like, I am lactose intolerant. And so, I put cream and not milk. But I don't know what it is. My stomach just burns. Like, it stays burning. You feel like you have to go to the bathroom. But you don't. Like, it's not even that case. So, yeah. I don't know. I, I need to stay off of junk. So, Lamentations 3 and 19. Remembering mine affliction and my misery, the worm wood and the gall. So this throws like a punch at me because I'm like, what in the world does that mean? So I will do some research and study it. Remembering mine affliction and my misery, the worm wood, the worm, worm, not worm. I'm seeing an A and an O. Worm. I was ready to speak. I know you're tired. Wormwood and the gall. Worm, like a worm in the, the ground. So yeah, so that was kind of crazy. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I will talk to you in the next video. Hopefully I'll have good news tomorrow because today was... It was good though. I have to say, like, they really, really did him very well. I mean, all his... Doctors, nurses, anyone that walked in that room was crazy. And in a funny way, like, <laughs> the doctor's like, All right, you need to stop eating rocks. Like, stop eating your rocks. <laughs> Are you finding rocks outside? And I'm just cracking up laughing like, oh my god, this doctor did not just tell him that. But they were all funny. It's, my daughter calls that place, um, bougie. I don't know why, because it's not bougie like she says. It's, it's a very nice neighborhood. It's like a high-end neighborhood, I should say. And it's really good. Like, that hospital is really good. And they're a trauma uh, unit. They're a trauma two. I guess that would help to say that. And, um... I'm just writing this for tomorrow. They're a trauma two. What else was I going to say? They're a stroke. So they're a stroke unit. What else? So tomorrow is James 5, 7, 8. And their heart. And that's what he is. He's a heart patient as well. So I told him you need to switch over your doctors. He likes his heart doctor, even though he don't see them. 
But I'm like, you just need to switch it over. Like, you need to go to somebody that's, you know, is closer to you. Because the hospital he goes to is, like, it's close to us. But, like, for other things, it's further out. Like, there are hospitals they have, like, multiple of. And then they're further out. They're more downtown. They're more in the And you have to pay for parking. The hospital I go to, you don't have to pay for parking. Parking is included. You know, not included. It's not, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to worry about pain or getting it validated or anything like that. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you in the next video. I'll update you tomorrow on how he is. And yeah. So thank you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.